All right, so today we're going to move into section 5.5 .5 on triangle inequalities. Um, so let's go ahead. So the first one is um, there is a partnership between angles and sides. So across from the biggest side should be your biggest angle. And across from your biggest angle should be your biggest side. So it works both ways. Um, so you're going to see questions that ask you to order angles or sides from smallest to largest or largest to smallest, either way. And again, so this one says from smallest to largest. So notice it asks for angles from smallest to largest, but it gives us sides. Well, they go together. So if this is my smallest side, travel across, B is going to be my smallest angle. So smallest would be angle B. Next one up, and I'll even change color so we see it. Um, here's my next side. Cross from angle A, so angle A will be next one. And then my largest side is the 19.5, which is across from angle C. So in order, smallest to largest, those would be my angles from smallest to largest. Now, you can't actually tell me what the measure of each angle is, um, but you can tell me which one should be the smallest and which one should be the largest. Um, again, also works in reverse. Um, if I give you, get my purple back. If I give you angles, you can also order the sides. And in this case, they wanted you to order the sides from shortest to longest. Now, notice I'm missing angle E. So we are going to do a little math here. We're going to say uh, 180, right, total triangle, minus the 90 degrees we got hanging out at angle F and the 22 degrees um, that we have hanging out at angle D. So we're going to subtract those, and we get 68 for angle E. Um, and now you have all of your information, and you can go ahead and order your sides from shortest to longest. So shortest, so this is my smallest angle. Across from it should be my shortest side. So side EF, or you could have said FE, doesn't matter. <clears throat> um, looks like 68, travel across, side DF, and then largest um, is that 90. So again, in a right triangle, the hypotenuse is always your longest side. And that is side DE, or again, you could say ED, doesn't matter. And you're done, smallest to longest. So just pay attention to um, <clears throat> what they ask for, if it's longest to shortest or shortest to longest. Um, the next one's called the triangle inequality theorem. Um, so believe it or not, if I give you three sides, you can't always make a triangle. There's requirements. So if you add, so the sum of any two sides should always be greater than the third side for it to make a triangle. So if you notice here, 4 plus 4, 8, is bigger than 7. 4 plus 7, 11, is bigger than 4. So if you add any two sides, it should always be bigger than the third. Now you can save yourself a little bit of time and just pick the two smallest ones to test. All right, 4 plus 4 is 8, bigger than 7. Um, you're going to be good. Now if you look over here, I always call this T-Rex syndrome. Um, notice these, these pieces are never going to meet. I can't make a triangle out of this because 3 plus 3 is not bigger than 7. So 3 plus 3 is not, that is not what I meant to say is not bigger try that again has to be greater than 7 and it's not 
okay? Um, a lot of people get confused on equal as well. Understand it has to be greater. So even if I told you, let's say, 3, 4, and 7, 3 plus 4 is not bigger than 7. This is not a triangle, okay? So it has to be greater. And again, if you're testing, you don't have to sit there and test every side, right? 3 plus 7, 10 is bigger than 3. 3 plus 7, 10 is bigger than 3. Um, you don't have to do every single side. Just pick the two smaller ones. Because if you're going to find a mess, if you're going to find that it's not a triangle, it's going to be with the two smaller sides. So here, 3 plus 4 has to be bigger than 7. And it's not. So it's not a triangle. All right, so let's try some. Uh, determine if a triangle can be given or can have the given side lengths. So again, pick the two smaller ones. We know 9 plus 7 has to be bigger than 13. Well, 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 is definitely bigger than 13. Yes, it can make a triangle. Uh, looks like here we have 3 and 4. 3 plus 4 has to be bigger than 7. I guess I kind of... Gave you a little spoiler alert in the last slide. Um, 7 has to be greater than 7. Is it? No. Cannot make a triangle. And then again, your two smaller sides, 4 plus 10, has to be greater than 11. And 14 is definitely greater than 11. So yes, it's a triangle. So that's your triangle inequality theorem. Um, so you could also, if I give you two side lengths, you could say, all right, these are all your options. If you want to make a triangle, pick a number somewhere between here and here. So how do you find that range, right? How do you find all the possible third lengths of the third side? Well, if you want to find the lower limit, so we're going to say, we're going to call that third side X. We know it has to be between two numbers. If you want to find the lower limit, we're going to subtract. So 19 minus 4, 19 minus 4. And then to find the upper limit, we're going to go ahead and add 19 plus 4. So we know that our number has to be somewhere, our third side, sorry, has to be somewhere between 15 and 23. Um, can it equal 15? Well, no, because 15 plus 4 is 19. It's not greater than 19. Can it equal 23? No. 4 plus 19 is 23. It is not greater than 23. So it has to be between 15 and 23. It could be 15.1. That would work. Um, it could be 22.9. That would work as well. Um, but it cannot be 15 or 23. Same concept here. We know our third side has to be between, so we're going to say 12 minus 5. That'll get you your lower limit, so it's got to be bigger than 7. And then we're going to say 12 plus 5. We know it's got to be less than 17. Bigger than 7, less than 17. Again, 7.1 works and 16.9 works, but you can't use 17. All right, there's your work for today. Uh, should be a quick lesson. Um, show all your work. Get it turned in. Bye, guys.